we will be discussing a very important aspect of transradial approach and that is the cannulation of coronary ostea while doing an angiogram or while doing an intervention and that too from right radial approach as well as left radial approach. The catheters are little bit different, the technique is a little bit different as compared to femoral approach. If you understand the basics of cannulation, it will be easy for you to cannulate the coronary ostea while doing angiogram or intervention. I am now going to demonstrate coronary cannulation using 5F OptiTorque TIG catheter. A standard 0.035 inch guide wire is kept in the ascending aorta making a loop. The catheter is now advanced over the wire in ascending aorta. The wire is slowly removed and kept inside the catheter. A slow pullback is performed to cannulate the left coronary ostium. Cannulation is done now. Once the left coronary angiogram is done, the catheter is slowly pulled out of the left coronary ostium. Now it is pushed towards the aortic valve with a slow and gentle clockwise rotation. Slight pullback of the catheter should usually cannulate right coronary ostium. I will now show you the left coronary cannulation using the left Judkins catheter. A standard 0.035 inch guide wire is kept in the ascending aorta keeping a loop. The left Judkins diagnostic catheter is now negotiated over it. The guide wire is removed inside the catheter. Slow pullback of the catheter is started now. Here you see pullback in progress. The LCA ostium is cannulated. The left Judkins catheter is removed over the wire. The right Judkins diagnostic catheter is negotiated over the wire and brought above the aortic valve. The wire is pulled back inside the catheter. The catheter is slowly rotated clockwise. RCA cannulation is done. Now I will show you a slightly different technique to cannulate right using the same catheter. I will show you the LCA cannulation using an extra backup guide catheter. The extra backup guide catheter is brought in the ascending aorta just above the aortic valve. The tip of the catheter is directed towards the LCA ostium. A gentle counterclock rotation cannulates the LCA ostium now. It is very important that you use your very gentle finger movement. This is the movement I want you to use rather than using the wrist movement while working through the transradial approach. LCA injection is done. This is another technical modification to cannulate the LCA with extra backup guide. The guide is brought in the ascending aorta and unfolded with the wire. Slight counterclock rotation with gentle pullback cannulates the LCA ostium. LCA injection is done. There is an important issue while cannulating the right coronary artery using a 5F OptiTorque TIG catheter. Because of its upward primary curve, when you try to cannulate RCA ostium, Many times it selectively cannulates the conal artery. I will show you the trick to overcome this problem. A stiff end of a 0.032 inch or 0.035 inch standard guide wire is being negotiated inside the catheter and brought near the primary curve. This will open up the secondary curve of the catheter making it look like a right Judkins catheter. Now you can easily cannulate the RCA ostium. Make sure that the stiff end of the wire should not protrude outside the catheter tip otherwise it can injure the aortic root. This technique is easy to adopt and very reproducible. Sometimes when you are working through small and difficult radial artery it is important that you finish the procedure using only one catheter. 
we have developed a technique to cannulate RCEA using a JL guide catheter. After completing the LCA intervention, the JL guide is pulled back and the stiff end of a 0.035 inch standard guide wire is being negotiated up to the primary curve of JL guide. Note that the JL guide is now converted into a JR guide. It is being rotated clockwise to cannulate the RCA ostium in usual fashion. RCA ostium is now cannulated. RCA intervention is in progress now. This is the end result. Once the JL guide sits properly in the RCA ostium, it almost acts like an extra backup guide working for the left. Here is an example of RCA cannulation using an AL1 guide catheter. Note that the tip of the guide catheter is not coaxial to the RCA ostium. Non-coaxiality is better revealed in this angiogram. This in fact led to aorto-osteal dissection. We landed up deploying multiple stands including covering the ostium of RCA to seal the entry of dissection. This is the end result you can see now the AL catheter is quite coaxial to the RCA ostium. We strongly recommend against the use of AL guide catheter unless you are an experienced operator as it is more complication prone catheter. Here is a nice example of deep intubation technique performed in RCA. Patient had a long standing occlusion of PDA artery. Deep intubation was performed for the entry of balloon across the CTO. A gentle counterclock rotation was performed to bring the catheter back to the normal position. This is the end result after stenting. Here is an example of anomalous right coronary artery arising from the left coronary cusp. JL3 guide catheter is the best catheter to cannulate this artery. The stenting is in progress. This is the final result. Kindly note the coaxiality and excellent backup support provided by JL3 guide catheter. This is an example of anomalous right coronary artery arising quite anterior from the right coronary cusp. RCA is totally occluded in the mid part. Intervention in progress. Stent is deployed. Final result is revealed. This is an example of anomalous origin of left circumflex artery from right coronary cusp. The RCA intervention is in progress. The end result is revealed. The LCX intervention is performed then. Stent is placed. Intervention in progress. This is the end result.